Hola, buenos dias, my beautiful people. Welcome back to part two of my Happy Mega Planner Solar System Grand Tour. I just flipped through a bunch of spreads from this current week that I filled in as well as unfilled um, future spreads for next week in this planner. This is my Colorful Leopard Mega Planner. And I have seven different planners, all franken planned, all combined into this one planner to give me my custom functional planner. So go check out that video if you're interested in seeing the flip throughs of all those spreads. It has a lot more of my serious sections in there like my work, my budget, my household, my nonprofit work, my fitness, things like that. This planner here is more of my fun stuff and, and I tend to use these planners less as planners and more as journals and workbooks and I no, don't necessarily need to like you know fill them in every single day i definitely have a lot less pressure when it comes to this planner here which is great because when you have a lot of planners you tend to feel obligated to fill them in and work them in every single day and make sure that every single spread and page is perfect you know life is rarely perfect and so it's really really important to embrace not being perfect in your planner and to be okay with whatever it is you are producing as someone who has 15 planners, you just really have to embrace that lifestyle and that mentality because it can be very, very easy to um, feel pressured by your planner. And that is not what planning is for. It's meant to help you. It's meant to make your life more easy, more efficient. It's supposed to give, make you, it's supposed to be fun. And when it's not fun, then there is no point in doing it. And you never want to make something that you love feel like a chore. All right, so this is part two of my solar system grand tour. This is my fun planner. She is from the Pressed Florals spring release. I put her on these gorgeous metal expander discs in a lavender and hot pink. And so I have eight different planners in here and some of these planners I have one month for and some of these planners I have two months in here. So I have my garden planner, my zen and mindfulness planner, my journal, my current events, my social planner, my reading journal, my language learner journal, and my four lizard YouTube planner. And so I'm just gonna share with you the spreads that I did last week, which are all filled in now, as well as the spreads that I've done for this upcoming week, which are not filled at all. So you can see kind of before the pen, after the pen type of um, flip through here. I really need to decorate my cover page. I have just been leaving it blank for a while now, but I have my calendar pages. I don't use the perpetual calendar for this particular planner. I tend to use the one in my other planner. I have an envelope here, my sticky note dashboard, a folder with some stationery in it, some daily sheets, some filler paper, uh, if I want to reach for it. Oh, oops, um, this totally is misplaced. All right, so this is my first section here and I separate all my planner sections with scrapbook paper and on the back of the scrapbook paper, I like to put a bunch of stickers that kind of relate to the uh, planner section. So this is my garden section and I use a skinny classic planner for this. This planner was the All the Feels planner. It's the super cute planner with the raindrops and the rainbow and this is my garden planner. So let me get to uh, the current week here. Let me pop this in. I just filmed a plan with me for my garden planner so that's why everything was uh, kind of in a weird order. All right, so this was this past week. Um, it's currently Sunday the 18th, and so this was the spread for it this week. I thought it was super cute. I love um, printing out photos of all my veg. And then this is the current week, or the upcoming week. So it's all blank and ready to be filled in this upcoming week. And as you can see, sometimes um, like I'll write quite a bit Sometimes I won't write as much, but this definitely helps me keep track of everything that's going on in my garden. So yeah, that is my gardening spreads. Let me put the bookmark back in. And then I just have an envelope with some photos in here and more scrapbook paper separating the next section. This is my Zen and mindfulness section. So, 
This is all of my mental health and it is my meditation journal and workbook and it's my mindfulness journal and workbook. Just like I have my fitness planner where I work my body and focus on my physical health, this journal is for my mental health and mindfulness. So this was this week's current spread. I used a wellness sticker book as well as stickers from various other sticker books. And I went with a blue theme and I thought it came out really, really cute. And then this is the upcoming spread. And I also thought this one came out really cute. I also used wellness and as well as the Dream Seekers sticker book. These are all Happy Planner sticker books, by the way. Um, some of them are recollection, but um, yeah, uh, I use like a, a combination of various sticker books. So uh, they're not all from just one sticker book. So that is my mindfulness. And then we have my journal, my journal. This is a horizontal layout and it's actually the the planner pages are um, the ones that come from this planner here, but my journal is where I just journal about how I'm feeling, you know. And so this was the current week I used princess stickers and this is the first time I really used princess stickers and made a princess spread and I think it, it turned out cute. And then this is the upcoming week's spread. I used, um, what did I use here? I think I used I definitely used a Happy Planner sticker book, but I think it was... This was the Happy Quotes sticker book from the Happy Planner, and it's a sticker book that I tend to kind of forget about, and I ended up pulling for it, and I actually really liked how it turned out. I'm gonna be really, really excited to journal in this spread for the upcoming week. Pop in the bookmark. And then skipping to the next section, my next planner. So this is my current events planner. Let me pull that out here. So this planner is more of a journal than it is a planner. And I listen to the news or I try to every single day. And I like to kind of write down what I hear on the news and um, just to kind of engage with the news more and also just to remember what's going on and kind of keep track of, you know, current events. So I'll just write down some of the more interesting news items I hear. And so this was this week here. And then this is the upcoming week. I used the pressed floral sticker book. And this, this spread is really, really cute. And I tend to decorate rather minimally for this, um, for this section because I tend to write more in this section and I wanna give myself a lot of space to write. So there we go. And then let's skip to the next section here, which is my social section. Um, and let's see. Okay, this is all right. Let's get to it. <laughs> and my social section is basically my scrapbook. It has, you know, everything to do with my social life. I tend to take a lot of photos, and so I like to print them out and include them in the section. So this was two weeks ago. I had a really fun week. I saw a lot of friends. And actually, um, this is the only planner section where I am always kind of behind a week because um, I tend to uh, decorate each week um, after it's happened. So this is the current week here and I've only decorated like the first half of the week and I haven't decorated the rest of the week and I haven't decorated the upcoming week at all because I tend to wait until I've printed out all of the photos that I wanted to print out and so that usually takes me a while. I don't, you know, print out the photos immediately and so I tend to always be like about a week behind with this planner because I'm kind of more retroactively um, filling it in as instead of like preemptively filling it in. I do use sticky notes to mark out things that are happening though. So that's what you see here. Yeah, I love, I love this planner. It's probably one of my favorite planner sections because I just love flipping through it and remembering all of the fun times. And then the next planner section is my reading journal. Um, 
yeah so this is the current week here i had a lot of fun with scrapbook paper and stamps as you can see and i actually wrote quite a bit this week um, as compared to this week where i did not write that much um, some weeks i write more than others some weeks i definitely don't write as much and then this is the upcoming week i love this spread so much and i actually have the plan with me if you're interested in seeing how i created the spread um, that should be up on my channel all right so we're almost to the end now we just have two more sections to go through this is my language learner planner and let's pop over to uh, the current week so actually this planner um, again I use it less as a planner more as a workbook and every day I try to practice my Japanese and write in Japanese um, every single day I am currently behind and I say that with quotation marks because I am still writing for the Friday the 9th but we're currently on the 18th of sun Sunday the 18th I don't feel behind at all though because it doesn't matter it really does not matter that I am working still on Friday the 9th and it's you know the 18th because that doesn't matter what matters is I'm practicing my Japanese and I'm having fun with it so I have my little Japanese sheets here just tucked in here so I'll continue to work through this um, through the weekend and through next week as well and I have no doubt I will catch up to where I you know the current day here so this was the current week let me pull this out so this was the current week here and again like I haven't written in at all in it and I just want to be absolutely authentic and real with you but I have no doubt that um, next flip through I will definitely be a lot closer to the actual date um, I just had a really busy week this past week and I just kind of um, put this aside which you know it, it's only gonna take me a, a, maybe two hours maybe three hours to write all the way up to Sunday so I don't it's definitely not gonna take me a lot of time and then this is the spread for the upcoming week it is so so cute I love using Japanese stickers um, in my Japanese workbook well technically this is my language learner planner it's not specifically for Japanese although 90% of it is Japanese I'm also learning Python which is a computer language and so that also goes in here as well but it's been a while since I've practiced my Python and so I need to get on that I'm trying to incorporate um, Python lessons more consistently in my life but oh, I love I love this planner it's one of my favorite planners to decorate because the color block format at the top is just so bright and cheery so yeah that is my uh, language learner workbook I'm gonna pop this back in and then we're just gonna jump to my next section which is my last section and this is my four lizard YouTube section and everything that has to do with my YouTube channel um, all the plans all my ideas go into this section and I'm using the color block um, jungle vibes planner for this so that was uh, the first two weeks in July and this was the current week spread um, I had a lot of fun with this spread because I was using a sticker book that I <laughs> actually didn't like very much. It was a sticker book I got on clearance and it wasn't even an actual sticker book. It was like a dashboard with some stickers attached to it and they were all in this kind of like pastel -y color palette and I just was feeling super uninspired by that sticker book. I just wanted to like use it and get it over with and so I challenged myself to use that sticker book and make something you know that I liked and I actually really really enjoyed how this spread came out um, I definitely used a lot more stickers than I ended up actually filling in but that's totally fine and then the upcoming week again I used my sweet kawaii uh, design sticker book with all the crafty icons and I'm really excited to be working in the spread for the upcoming And 
And we have finally reached the end, my friends. We have finally reached the end of all of the eight sections, all of my eight planners in here. Um, as you can see, I have a lot of fun with my planners. And believe me, between stickers, between photos, between stamps and scrapbook paper, you definitely don't need a lot of time um, you don't need to be writing in it constantly. As someone who has a very, very busy life, I cannot afford to do all of the things that I do if I spent an exorbitant amount of time just writing and, you know, prepping my planner. So we have finally reached the end of part two of this happy planner solar system grand tour i hope you enjoyed flipping through all of my spreads we finally got through all eight sections of this happy planner and i hope you stuck through it all the way to the end here for me planning is a passion it's a hobby i am an artist and so it definitely is an artistic outlet for me it's a creative outlet and it has the dual function of also being organizational and administrative having 15 different planners has definitely improved um, all those areas and aspects of my life it motivates me i love my happy planner so much and it has improved my quality of life so so much since i first started planning journaling organization administration all of that works to um, allow me to have a better life, to plan a better life, to achieve my goals and my dreams and have fun while I do so. And I think it's amazing that I'm able to share this journey here on YouTube and just connect with people in the community who have similar goals and dreams and creative outlets. So thank you so much for supporting me as always, for tuning in to my planner videos and for just being a wonderful wonderful supporter definitely let me know if you would like to see plan with me for particular sections either in the ones in my uh, colorful leopard planner that i went over in part one or in this planner um, my fun planner i would i would love to know if there are any particular sections that you would love to see a plan with me with all right everyone um, i'll catch you in my next video bye